the clip that you're about to watch is one that we made about, oh, I think it's 14, 15 years ago now, and it's what we call a waveform headbutt. Now, you know, a headbutt is a devastating weapon to in close. Now, I've seen many, many clips on the interweb of people laying the nut on, and it's something that, you know, we learned as a kid in the playground. We know that a headbutt works. Everyone knows it works. There are inherent dangers with the way most people do it. Now, this method of doing the headbutt can be done from a much longer distance than most people would expect. And I've got to tell you, it's absolutely devastating. Now, it doesn't really matter where it lands, it's going to have a huge effect on the bad guy. So, when you watch this, you know, bear in mind that the clip's old and, uh, you know, so the quality isn't 4K or anything like that, but you'll still pick it up and you still get all the information that you need. And it's, you know, one of those techniques that if you're in the Assassin Academy, you'll get the updated version where you've got it in full HD incredible quality and a much better detailed explanation for you of exactly how to do it and how to train it which is very important so without any uh, further ado let's go and have a look at the clip and uh, you know watch it and make sure you understand it let's have a look at the clip the next um, strike that we're going to show you is a, a headbutt. A little bit different the way we do it. This waveform motion's got to come in. Okay. You get trained to, to hold the pad. First of all, you don't hit it to start with. You just to touch to get the feel for it and to understand all the little bits that I'm going to show you and talk to you about. The headbutt now is, is this really, it's the side to side coming into effect, but you're going to use your body to do it rather than your arms coming in. So, uh, an analogy that I like to use is a pole vault. When they can run along with this pole and they stick it in the ground, that creates the power for them to go up and over. So effectively, this foot, if you're going to hit with this side of the head, this foot is like that pole for the pole vault going in. Bang! And it gets caught in that little divot, and then the rest of the body follows. Okay? So just to practice it again, this is just practice, just a drill, put that in, just to make sure that your body's going to go this way. Hit. Make sure that your body's going this way. This hit goes over that ankle on the side. Don't worry about balance yet, you'll, you'll see more in a minute. Then, this shoulder on the hitting side must come up to protect the bottom of your head. So then you practice it with the shoulder up. That's all I want to start with. Then the head comes down to meet the shoulder so that this is really covered now. You must also look down at the floor down here. Don't look at him trying to do it because you end up, your soft tissue could meet the hard bone of his head, which you don't want. You want to be hitting with this part here and your shoulder together. So this arm just dangles very loose, don't worry about it. And that comes into here. Make sure you're looking down. This hand then comes up to protect the top half of your head and the other bits of soft tissue. So you're here. And you'll do this first of all just to practice, just to get this movement in here. Application, I'm not going to hit Steve, application, if his hands were up, you would just clear his hands down and in. So it would be sort of like, and in. Obviously you can't hit people with that. So, to practice the next stage, you just knock down as if you've knocked the hands down and come to here. Again, without hitting, down and to here. Down and in. And then you start to, to put it in. We recommend you start lying slow. I just do about five, ten percent, whatever it is. So you knock it down and then you see the impact you get. And one more. From here and this time what we I'm not going to hit Steve it's in and really go in now 
So I'm going to go in faster but cut the power down. So it's here, not now. And you just imagine that without the power. Okay. okay. I'm glad you had a good look at that clip. Now, before we go any further, please make sure that you click the like button, apparently, and the subscribe button and, the, and that notification bell thing. The geek people have told me that you've got to press the like button because it's something to do with YouTube algorithm or something like that. I don't know how it works. If I can't hit it, I don't understand it. Now, on that headbutt, okay, uh, the biggest thing that people do wrong with it is that they try to do it without letting their body weight go over that lead hip. Okay, you've got to be prepared to just let that go and then you've got all the power in the world. The other mistake that people make is they don't lift up that shoulder high enough on the hitting side. If they leave it down and then they're leaving themselves open to, to damage. So that's another big mistake that people make, getting that shoulder up. And of course, dropping that head down when you do it. You've got to tuck all of your chins right down here. Really tuck it in and remember to bring that hand up just for a little bit of extra protection, just in case there's anything sticking out of the coat pockets or whatever on the bad guy. So that clip is, is again, just one of you know, several hundred techniques that you will learn at the Assassin Academy. It's um, a devastating, devastating technique when done correctly. And even if it goes wrong and you don't get the full impact, you get enough to set up your next attack, your next technique, whatever that may be. Now, um, I've used it a couple of times, friends have used it, and people we've taught, obviously it's hundreds and hundreds of times all around the world to, to great effect. I mean, devastating, devastating effect. Um, it's something that you, you just don't really understand until you get the actual feel for it, until you actually feel one of those strikes. You don't understand just how powerful it is. Uh, a case in point, I was teaching police over in the States a good few years ago now, probably about 12, 13 years ago, and there was two great big lumps there. They were like 300 320 pound each and I'm sort of like just wandering you know I'm six foot I think I was about 185 190 maybe at that time and they said what's this little guy got to teach us about hitting didn't take much you know just listen to it so I got everybody to do a headbutt how they would normally do it and then I gave the wire pad that you saw in that clip to the bigger of the two lumps. I said, brace yourself, because I'm going to show you how we would do a headbutt. And uh, get ready, because it goes in pretty hard. And he sort of like looked at me, because he's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, sort of like looked down at me and said, yeah, really? So I mean, I put it in. So I gave it a wallet, put it in. He's gone, boom, boom, flop out. And I ended up phew, on his ass, legs akimbo like that. Still holding the pad, and a little bit groggy. And he just looked up and went, I can't do the accent, but no, I can do it. That'll do it. And uh, those two guys went from being, who are you, when I first walked in, to over a five-day course. They're like my shadow, following me everywhere. What's next? What's next? What's next? Absolutely loved it. It's uh, one of those things that once you understand just how powerful that strike is you'll never forget it and you'll you'll just want to use it so yeah take the time please to learn it train it and add it to your arsenal it's a fantastic addition and it really does change the landscape for you and remember press that like button if you haven't done it press the subscribe button and thanks for watching I'll send you some more another day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.